Hello and welcome to Let's Play 2 2016. This is 2K and I am here with Swarly. How's it going, Swarly? So good. All right. Uh, this is hard justice logo. <laughs> yeah, don't look. It's not hard justice. Not at all. No, this is Joey Janela's Summer Vacation 2018. Uh, live from some hotel in Orlando with a pool, hopefully. Oh, yeah, we didn't think of that. This, this is definitely an outdoor event for sure. Oh, yeah, like it's on like a deck with the ring set up and like the pool next to it. I think it's just straight up on the beach, like bash at the beach. Back oh, in the day. we're in D Daytona Beach or wherever they did that. And it's like perfect. I yeah. love it. Uh, so we're going to do a shot and try to claim there's 100,000 people here. Oh, no, they did that. They, I know they, they did. did. Joey Janela just goes, there's a hundred people here. Just pants over the beach. <laughs> All right. You want to start with a hot match? Yeah, of course. All right. You want to start with the X Division? How do you feel about starting with the anime on the line match? Just get real high stakes right oh, off the bat. Oh, that's a lot of high stakes right off the bat. You're going to have that hang over the rest of the show? Yeah. I don't care. I do what I want. I like that Lufisto and Madison Eagles are the ones I got to keep their name. But yeah, they didn't work for the Fed. <laughs> All right. Are, are we doing the finish here? I think we're doing it here, right? The finish? Uh-oh. All right, so who's winning this match, Smiley? Oh, the good guys. Come okay. on. I, I would like to give this give this to the defender of anime, Madison Eagles. Or Mercedes Moon. Jeez, that was a weird slip. No, Madison Eagles has to lose. She's, yeah. she's the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would like uh, Lufisto to turn on Madison Eagles. Not turn into a good guy, but to defend the honor of anime here. No, he, he, no Nick, not yet. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's what I was saying about the finish. Yeah, no. Okay. Nick, think about it. The stipulation of this match is if they lose, they have to watch anime. Oh, I see where you were going. Okay. I was thinking of it a different way, where Lufisto set it up that way on purpose so that she could just watch anime with Madison Eagles. I mean, that'd be a, that'd be a real convoluted way of doing that. <laughs> All right, look, I just really wanted to watch anime with my friend, and she didn't want to, so I set up a wrestling match, as you do. That's some real Vince Russo logic. <laughs> Look, I know what I know what I am, and it's real convoluted and shitty. Uh, all right, so Mercedes Moon to win, <laughs> <laughs> but really to lose. <laughs> yeah, I mean she wins the match, but loses because she still likes anime. Oh, poor Sasha Banks. <laughs> poor Sasha Banks stuck in TNA. Oh, okay. Oh. What happened? She had a career. I think we need to have a celebration after that. Yeah, for sure. Like a big over the top beach beach episode celebration. See, I, I'm thinking less of like a celebration and more like Madison Eagles and Lufisto are like kicking and screaming on the canvas and then like Mercedes like walks over to the, like I don't know, gets something out of her a bag or like on the commentator table and it's like She's got her Crunchyroll gift card, and she's, like, waving it in the air, and, like, she hands it to them. She gets, like, a t-shirt, and it just says, like, like otaku on it. She yeah. hands it to them. Makes it on, and they're like, oh, God. All right. Forced anime. The only comment. We're not going to put any more than that. Just forced anime. I hope I look at that in two years, and I just don't remember what's going on. You'll never forget this, Nick. You're right. I still remember Tatanka in the woods, so. You want to you wanna have a juice storm? Yeah, I was just <laughs> thinking, like, what would be a good match for the death spot? I know. <laughs> Chain Storm. All right. Juice. James Storm. Solid 45 coming up here. Yep. Juice Robinson getting a big win. Going to look strong. Yep. James Storm jobbing his way out the door. Crowd loves juice. Hopefully. Maybe. 
we'll see. Uh, are we moving right into another singles match, or do you want to do like a, the tag match right after that? I think it's time for Joey Jell to, to come out. Ah, yes. This is a good spot for that. All right, so I think Joey's coming out. And uh, how, well, I got to think of what the set is. Is he coming out, like, down a boardwalk? Yeah, sure. Okay. So he's, like, dancing down the boardwalk into the ring. And, uh. Go on, Swarley, do you want to do you want to let us know who he's going to be bringing sure. out here? Well, is going to come out. Maybe he's wearing like his his jacket that he wears, and he gets into the ring and he's like, you know, now that I'm in charge of that, I'm going to do something special. So I'm bringing back this, and he rips open his jacket and he is wearing the TNA Legends title. Does found it in storage or whatever, dusted it off, got it on his waist, and I'm only going to defend this against the greats. The all-time legends. The biggest names this business ever seen. And I'm going to put them down in their place. Let's first, first inaugural match. Let's go right now. And then there's going to be like a real shitty wolf pack knockoff. And uh, Kevin Nash is going to lumber his way to the ring. Yeah. He also renamed the legends title. Yes, it was briefly the King of the Mountain title, but that never happened. Yeah, she, 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 she. <laughs> so what's going to happen in this match is that Joey Janela is going to win, like, immediately. Uh, like, he's going to hit, like, a move and pin Kevin Nash. Uh, and then the commentators are going to be like, that was suspicious. I don't know what that was about. And then uh, after the match, Kevin Nash is going to cut a promo where he's like, yeah, yeah, the, Jimmy's the best. Uh, boy, what a what an honor to be in the ring with him. And then Joey's gonna be like, it's, it's Joey. Yeah, whatever, man. As long as the cat, as long as the check clears, and then he's just gonna leave. Perfect. That is the most TNA we have ever been. <laughs> For sure. To be fair, this only took like eight minutes of time. Yeah, so I don't feel too bad about it. I think it took a solid 10 with Kevin lumbering. Although, if we gave Kevin a, a live mic, that's really like... Yeah, that's fair. Mm. Uh, what, what I'm saying is TNA would have put Kevin Nash in the main event. Yep. This this would have been the main event. Yes. The Joey-Kevin spot. It would have been Kevin Nash versus, like, Sting. Oh, no. This whole Joey-Kevin... The whole thing would have been exactly the same, but in the main event. Oh, and Kevin Nash would have won. Yeah, just role reversal. Kevin Nash hits the finger poke. Joey flies down. Yeah. And they hug after. Uh, it would have just been stomach kick, power bomb, one, two, three. Uh, meanwhile, I am booking Hager and Saito. Okay, that's fine. Do you have a winner for this match? Um, I guess Jake Hager should win. Okay, so we're in agreement. Okay. How should Jake Hager win? Um, how stupid do you want to be? I, that is the, like, I feel like that's the question that should be on the front page of my YouTube channel. Okay, so. Very. I, so my ideal finish would be, and I don't know if you can even like make this happen, would be for like Matt Seidel to get a pin off of like, uh, some, like how so, to, to use like an unusual move to get the pin like he yeah some kind of weird move and then uh he celebrates and then jake hager like pulls out a rule book and he's like no according to article seven uh number three that was an illegal hold and then he'll show it to the ref and the ref will be like that that's what it says decision reversed i guess that's a dusty finish let's do a dusty finish yeah i'm doing the screwy referee finish to kind of it's not exact, but it'll it'll work. Yeah. Excuse me, he dropped me directly on my head. That is illegal in the state of Florida. He used a gator roll, and the, the gator is a sacred animal in Florida. That man should be disqualified. 
And the ref would just be like, ah, he's, he's, he's not wrong. Not wrong. Look, right here. Says it. Sacred animal. <laughs> uh, oh, boy. How do you follow that up? Probably with something serious now. <laughs> we, right. we, we've had our fun. <laughs> so, hot uh, tag team action? Yeah, sure. Actually, no. I think if you want to get serious, we got one more thing to do to get serious. Okay. Uh, we're going to do a a recap video, which is something we don't usually do. No, because they usually do terrible. I know. But I feel like it's necessary to establish all of the shit that's been going down to poor Keith Lee. Yeah, that's a good point. Like, his best friend betrayed him. Team Tremendous harassed him for like six months. Tama Tonga is a dick. For some reason. <laughs> yeah. Like, Keith Lee is mad, and he's rated on Menace. Then you do the match, Keith Lee and Tama Tonga. Yeah. I mean, Keith Lee has to win this match, right? Yep. Okay. Like, basically, it's a three-on-one match, too. And he, like, yeah. throws around. Or it could be two-on-one. Like, he could beat Bill Carr up. But, then, but like, he's throwing Dan Barry around, basically. I want Dan match. Barry to get pounced into the ocean. This is why I wanted a pool. Because I wanted Dan Barry to get pounced into a pool. But okay. I'm perfectly fine with him getting pounced into, like, the, the small ocean. Like, that little... The... Oh, I forgot the name of it, but like where there's, it's only like a foot deep, but he's like, f like flailing around as if he's. No, drowning. I want him to get pounced on the shoreline and fly fifty feet into the ocean. <laughs> I know you do, but <laughs> we have to work within the bounds of reality. What? Why? I suppose. What if we connect a parasail to him for some reason? <laughs> a guy with a parasail is walking by. Keith Lee growls at him, takes yeah. the parasail. <laughs> hooks it up and just throws Dan Barry into the air. He flies away. Perfect. Now we're realistic. I would also settle for Keith Lee goes to beat up Dan Barry and Dan Barry just runs away and starts swimming into the ocean to escape <laughs> Keith Lee. Sure. Can Bill Carr get put through the boardwalk? <laughs> yes. All right. Tamatari right. is the only one that gets pinned normally. Now we've had our fun. Yes. Let's have a triple threat tag match. Yeah, now it's time for just serious old wrestling. Yeah, title matches. Whatever. Yeah, serious wrestling with the Laredo Tornadoes. Look, man, they're a serious team. Also, did we remember to put the Legends title on the line in that Joey Janela match? Hey. Okay. Uh, all right, remind me after. We'll, we'll remember. Yeah, I'll remind you of it. Okay. So in this match, we got the Lee champs, who became champs when they uh, killed Andrew Everett. Mm -hmm. uh, Davy Richards and his new friend. Anthony and Henry. Yep. A, you just, literally don't know his name, do you? No, I knew it was Anthony Henry. It's just that it's his new friend. It's, yeah, it's his new friend. His new Eddie Edwards. Eddie's busy. <laughs> and a couple of tornadoes. Mm-hmm. So, I think in this match, I think it's going to be pretty open. I think we could put that on there as well. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I think we're going to get Davy a win here. Yes. And I think it's going to be over Sammy. Sure. So, the title changed hands here. Uh, but the Lee boys have no part of it. Oh, they, they, we ain't never been pinned. Nope. I can hear the promos now. You know, I was distracted by a seashell. I stepped and on a jellyfish. I got sand in my eye. Yeah, all the things. There you go. We got new tag team champions. Yep, two titles have changed hands right now. You got the Legends titles changing hand. 
Got the tag really title change hands. To ring with that title. So did it change hands? Yeah, I mean, it, there was no hands on it at the start of the show. I guess. So, would you like to do... I think we got to do Big Bird and Lashley. That's where I was going. Okay, it was either going to be X or Big Bird. Yeah. The X match should be better, so I don't know. Well, it should be. Yeah, we'll see. Lashley has done some amazing things. Yes. Which has not translated to his WWE run. I have not seen a single minute of Bobby Lashley's new WWE, WWE run. Also, Braxton Sutter no longer in TNA. So this is uh, two guys no longer in the company for real, but, you know, we've made it work. Yeah, we made both of them into, I think, at least for accident, we've made a lot bigger than he was. So, where, who would you like to win this match? Well, let me think. I have my vote. Okay, let me hear it. We just did a Rocky promo. Right. The underdog needs to win this match. Right. I think you're right. I think we need to solidify the big bird. Yes. Hey, Lashley's cool with it, too. Braxton Sutter's a big deal, Nick. I mean, the character Lashley's not going to be cool with it. Of course. Uh, does he flip now, or are we going to let him flip at Impact? I I don't care either way. Dude. Oh, no. Do we already have someone flip out after a match so far? No? Okay. You know what? I think we leave it. I think we leave it for impact. So that would move us into the women's match or the X match? The women's match. Okay. I just realized these are all just normal one-on-one -on -one matches. All right. Uh, we're going to give this match more time than that? Yes, we are. Okay. They're going to get main event time, don't worry. Yeah. Uh, all right. Who would you like to win this match? Mm. Actually, so, the ratings have been real good, Nick. Mm-hmm. You want to go with Ashley? I, look, I, I feel like Rosemary's been doing a great job. Ashley Flair has been uh, very, very good for us. I'm really fine either way. Uh, that said, you know, look, if Ashley wins, we can do a rematch. Will you... I think I have an, a storyline idea. Okay. If we do that. Okay. So, Ashley wins. <laughs> Ashley wins, lol. <laughs> oh, you just bring someone in from WWE and then put them over the homegrown talent. I'd have beat, like, three other WWE I, Look, I know. I'm just... That's what the fans are saying, not me. X Division match. X Division match. Desmond Xavier and Will Ospreay. Which should, would probably be a really good match. Not only reason... We, oh, go ahead. Should we be doing this as like an all-out match? That's what I was... That's why I have it at 11 minutes. Okay. I was just... I, I believe one of our first matches, we'll, we put Will Ospreay wait. in just like, hey, have a 20-minute match. And the game was like, yeah, he can't do that. Which he can't. He's probably been the wrestler of the year this year, to be completely honest with you. All his matches have been really good. Uh, uh, I know I'll take after Kenny and Okada just had the fucking best match of all time. But that yeah. was like a really good match. And Will Ospreay has had like five. Yeah, one of them also included Okada, but yeah. I'm just saying. I would still say Okada. I'm just saying. I know. Look. You have an argument. Look, I'll I'm not that. gonna. I'm not gonna argue that Okada doesn't deserve it. Like they're both very good wrestlers. Are we giving this to Will, by the way? Yeah, Will Ospreay's gonna okay. win the title. While we're arguing over whether he's wrestler of the year or not. <laughs> yeah, should the best wrestler in the world win this X division title? I don't know. Yeah. Thank you, game. Thank you. We're we're a bit bit tied up with some other stuff. <laughs> Eddie Edwards in EC3. The big belt on the line. Mm -hmm. TNA's Ethan Carter, uh, excuse me, NXT's Ethan Carter III returning to Impact. 
was it Eddie and was it the Wolves in NXT for like a couple? They had a match. Yeah, and, uh, apparently uh, it didn't go well, and they didn't get signed. Were they just Eddie Edwards and Davy Richards? Yeah, it was, it was just so like... NXT's Eddie Edwards and NXT's Ethan Carter the Third. All right, storytelling. Yes, storytelling. We'll We're definitely some... telling the story in this match for sure. Yeah. The story of Eddie Edwards getting fucked out of his title. <laughs> yep. How I'm many interferences Carter. are we putting in here? I think just, just Joey. Just Joey? Yeah. Just Joey is also the name of the new sitcom coming to ABC this summer. Was that not the name of the, the one? Like the, or was that literally just called... Just, no, it was just Joey. <laughs> but there wasn't a, literally a just. Yeah, right. It was Joey. <laughs> And bad. Oh, yeah. Back when I actually watched television. Back in my day. Well, okay, before I moved out into my apartment when I could, where I couldn't get cable anymore, I should say. Not like, oh, I'm so high and mighty, I don't watch television. Uh, yeah, so Eddie Edwards gets beat up by Joey Janela, like from behind. Ethan Carter wins the match. See the. Ooh, I was just gonna say something, but it doesn't make sense because we've we've established canonically this is an outdoor show. But I really would have liked Joey Janela to repel from the ceiling like Sting. Still does. Okay. Repels from from a helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the ring is like pressed up against the side of a hotel, and he just repels from like the third floor balcony. Perfect. Oh boy. Put that title on the line. The lights go out, which is really just not at all. I mean, it's just, it's by it's a nighttime show. Like by a, by the time this match would be happening, it'd be getting pretty dark. All right. Are we gonna have Ethan celebrating with the title at the end? Yeah, sure. Yelling Sting for some reason. Oh. He's got a he he. He won. He did it. Sting, I told you. I did it, Sting. I did it. Now Sting and Joey walking around with belts. No. I think we, I think we should do Ethan Carter. Carter and Joey running it. Walking. Oh, what did I say? You said Sting and Joey walking around with belts. That's, that's, that's... Sting's not even walking after no. what happened to him. You wanted we... to add something? Let's book a dark match. All right. Let me just check. Unless you have someone in mind. Oh, I was just thinking like an eight-man tag. Like, we have a ton of people. Or yep. six-man. Okay, yep, Pagano. Oh, good. Okay. All right. ACH. I mean, Team Tremendous should be in here as well. Sure. Uh, I love ACH. how we still have them as faces. Tracy Williams, yeah, that's oh boy. Um, oh, that's uh, that's Team Evolve, isn't it? Yes. Uh, but Keith Lee's booked. Yeah, sure. Uh, David Starr. Yeah. Caleb Conley. I was about to say, and your boy, <laughs> Caleb Conley. Uh, take it on. I mean, Team Tremendous doesn't have. To... Oh no, we didn't actually book them in that match that they got the shit kicked out of them in. Oh. I should have done that. Um, I would like MJF in this match. And Ethan Page. Yeah, Ethan Page should probably be in this match. This is an indie-ass wrestling match. Yep. Who's winning this match? ACH is going to pin Dan Barry. Oh, poor Dan Barry. I know. I like Dan Barry, but... Dan Barry is unhappy about getting paid. Really? <laughs> that is shocking. <laughs> Hold on. Dan Barry is a 38 popularity? Is he much, like... ACH is, is more, a 41... <laughs> okay, Bill Carr is going to lose the ACH. I think... I think Dan... Dan I think Keith <laughs> messed Dan up. <laughs> Dan Barry's like, I only take jobs to Keith Lee. That is what I do now. Did you see how good that was? 
Bill Carr's like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, I'll lay down. That's literally all I'll do. I'll just, I'm not even going to do any moves. Yep. Hit me with a drop kick. All right, let's go home. <laughs> this is a stacked show. I think so. Let's see what the game thinks. Hmm. That's, I mean, did you think this would do better than that? Dan Barry got a 46. Well, that's why he didn't want to do no job. Dan Barry was better than Tracy Williams in that match. I mean, ACH got a 55, so he still should have been fine doing that job, but, you know, yep. whatever. Sure. Hey, hot opener. Uh, Haley U. Gonzalez has a strong connection with the young female demographic that really liked her winning. That This all adds up. I mean, yes, but I did not know that was a feature of the game. Oh, well, maybe they made it just for her. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't care so much about the anime. The young female demographic was immediately just like, this is weird. <laughs> I don't like this anime stuff. Did, did you say a 48? I said 45. So you were close. James Storm got a 45. I'm going to yeah. take my credit. Okay, fair enough. Okay. okay. Mm, didn't click. I'm real nervous about this match. Right. <laughs> <laughs> really? Look, as long as Joey gets a bunch of overness from this, he I'm got the okay. moonsault foot stomp in, in <laughs> 52 minutes, seconds. <laughs> Get your shit in. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Then Nash put him over. Like that was the craziest shit I've ever seen. I mean, fair. That's a great move, Jimmy. Oh, it did a lot better than I thought it was going to. Yep. This game likes Jake Hager a lot more than I do. I mean, it likes Matt Seidel too, but yeah. Yeah, Matt Seidel's good. Really likes that. Mid card WWE. Yeah. Okay. I'm. I actually. This is better than I thought this video would do. Yep. Hmm. Okay. All right. I mean, we're working on it. Keith Lee is a work in progress. Cannot be expected to be good right away. Yeah. I mean, we've been booking him for like six months, but yes. he'll get there. Yes. Wow. Okay. Well, we just started booking him on Menace, so. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, I mean, this match is a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Yes, it is. I I forgot that, like, Davey Richards is good. Like, very good. Yeah. And Laredo Kid is very over. Yeah. There are a lot of Laredo Kid masks out on the beach. <laughs> of course. Yeah, the big bird. I am... Like, I legitimately am, like, stupid smiling right now because a of this. big bird getting it done. Spread his wings. Oh, yes. <laughs> Ready to leave the nest. Oh. oh, no. They don't click. So that was just oh. that. Well, there goes that rematch. Uh, there goes that whole idea. <laughs> Unless we just circle in another one of the other ladies. Yeah. Only Allie wasn't having a baby. Jeez. Hey, this did all right. This would be better. I mean, Will Ospreay, for some reason, is only a 60. Yeah, but I mean, like, two guys that are 60s having a match that is, like, made for them. I don't know. Yeah, that's hyper flippy. But that's that's fine. This is fine. This is what we're talking about. Yes. Oh, they had great chemistry, too. Oh, hell yeah, they did. This is the, this is the culmination of the entire Joey Janela storyline. I mean, no, it's not. That's that's we have many like, more shows. Look, <laughs> this is the culmination. Of everything I mean, is, we've been working for. This is narratively the high point for him. Like, sure, like he's on top of the world. He's running Impact. Him and his buddy are champions. They're on the beach. <laughs> that's that's the most important part. Yeah, he's making like work. sand angels in in the the shore while the three counts being done. Ah. This this show gave me a lot of a lot of happy feelings. We used Ethan what? Page too much. Why? Is this did this literally get a fifty three because we booked that dark match? No, it's because of the storylines. Oh man! Because they didn't feel they were interesting enough. They were a very interesting game. That we I just we just went from like so happy to so bummed out. That show was so good. 
That was it. That was everything we wanted. I'm with you, Akabono. You know what? What, Nick? I might be might be rash what I'm thinking. Might be a little bit extreme as I stall while the game loads. A little extreme? But, uh, yeah, yes. Yeah. But I'm thinking I'm thinking I might I might go in here and see if there's something I could do about this this storylines keeping keep digging us. Because get get a little bit annoyed by it. I mean, what is annoying is the last show it didn't happen, so that means that whatever we booked on the last show like brought whatever storylines we had down, but like nothing on the last show bombed. Yeah. I think that's what it is for me too. Like it just seemed like it was uh arbitrary. You know, maybe that Kevin Nash stuff we booked with Joey brought Joey down and then that like brought down that feud or something. Yeah, I'm going to do this. Okay. Tell me how much of a cheater I am in the comment section below, and uh, we will see you next time. Have a good one. Cheating!